business IGCSE class, chapter 40, economies and diseconomies of scale. So when we talk about economies of scale, we're talking about a cost advantage of a firm because of its ability to expand. So the cost advantage, you have, that means a reduction in your average cost of production as a result of expansion. That is what economies of scale is. Did you get my point yeah. here? So let's go down and say, okay, <clears throat> economies of scale. Large firms can usually produce goods more cheaply than small firms. The size of a firm has an important effect on the average cost of production. As a firm increases its size, average cost starts to fall. This is because of economies of scale. So, yeah. as a firm starts increasing its operational cost, uh, as a firm starts increasing its scale of operations, yeah. it is expected of its average cost of production to fall. Yeah. Because as soon as you increase your output, yeah. the cost for each unit will start reducing. Yeah. That is what Increasing. reduction in the average cost of production means. So that is economies of scale. Do you get the point? Sure. What about the economies? We get there. So for these economies of scale, these economies of scale occurs when a firm starts witnessing an increase in its average cost of production despite mm -hmm. expansion. So there's expansion, but you are witnessing because an increase in your average cost of production. Because of low quantities of uh, products. No, there are different reasons why we could uh, have these economies of scale. Okay. So one of the reasons why you could have these economies of scale is lack of coordination. You know, you have a lot of people that you cannot coordinate. You have employed a lot, large numbers of people you can, that oh, they yeah. are not really actually working. Mm. So your cost... There's no managers. Uh, they are not being managed well. Yeah, you know, it's benched poorly. What? Managed poorly. Poorly, yeah. Yeah. So, you will pay them. Mm. It is expected of them to do more than what they used to do, but they are not. They are lazy. No, it's not maybe it's they are lazy. Off. It might depend on your structure. Mm. Some workers are not lazy, but the structure allows inefficiency. The, uh, the structure allows, yes, inefficiency. So, mm. it's always the structure. If the structure is, you know, designed well, mm. everyone would be up and doing so we go down. So the average cost of it's always a U shape. It's U shaped. U shaped. Yes. Are you with me? Uh, that's economies and economies. Yeah. So in between is our return to scale. Mm. As soon as you exceed, as soon as you move above the economies of scale, you will start witnessing these economies of scale. Mm. Because at that point in time, your output is increasing. At the same time, you are increasing what? Your average cost of production. But it can happen uh, both. Economies and economies of scale happening at the same time. No, uh, yeah. No, it's not possible. It's either you are. It's either it's economies of scale or it's economies of scale. Mm. Okay, or sure. optimum level. Okay, optimum sure. level is where you cannot go beyond. Between economies. You must not go above it. Mm. That's the optimum level because optimum. as soon as you go above the optimum level, you're going to witness these economies of scale. Sure. Are we together? Yeah, we're together. Okay, done. So we'll go to internal economies of scale. 